Welcome back to your Santa Fe Pastors YouTube channel, uh, another series of scene studies. And uh, our fearless leader, I'm pointing out an empty chair, uh, David is out. He's having car issues with his fancy car. But anyway, um, Don is going to take over today. And uh, we've been talking a little bit about the Larry Moss book. And you actually just took a class today with uh, Larry Moss. So I'm going to have you talk a little bit about that. You yeah, had the opportunity to audit a class with Larry Moss today. Uh, the first thing was uh, they weren't joking around. I mean, these were working actors uh, with, with serious credits, but they were still learning. And uh, Larry Moss was there. He was on, was on Zoom. There was 10 actors, uh, five females and five males, and they did male-female scenes. And he, uh, he really pushed, pushed them in, you know, in a nice way, a learning way, safe way. And, uh, you know, it was all about feelings, working off each other. One of the things I thought that resonated with me was don't rush. Don't be in a hurry, you know, and feel the scene and feel the emotions. Uh, so, you know, I, I said I've taken acting before, but today I kind of felt like the, uh, the cables uh, touched in my brain of what acting really is. And Larry Moss, I don't know if we've talked about it, but he's got like a serious clientele with, you know, you know, big name A-listers. So, um, and then one of the things, you know, Stephen and I were talking about before uh, was, you know, maybe we need to focus and learn the scenes before we come so we can interact off each other. Because that was one of the things they said, right, is, and, and then the actors, after they got done with their scenes, they were talking and how important the other actor was to them in the scene. And um, I, that's pretty much, I mean, there was a whole lot today. I sat there for six hours watching and, you know, Larry Moss was really engaged. And uh, I don't know if I said it before, but lots of tears from the actors, not because he was ridiculing them, but because he was, you know, pushing them out of their comfort zone. And, and these were working actors, you know, and, and I think one of the things too that uh, stuck with me is keep, keep learning and keep taking classes and keep pushing yourself. And, and that was all valuable lessons that I learned today from that class. Yeah, some stuff I touched on, um... I know I read the first chapter of the book was uh, you can't understand what's driving the character. You know, or, you know, what are they trying to get out of the other person? What does that person want? It was usually some kind of exchange going on, which I thought was really interesting. And then before you guys got here, um, we were talking a little bit just about that. It's like it's hard because we're just kind of cold reading. Um, Tom, you sometimes have, you know, oftentimes you have your scenes memorized, you have your favorite scenes. You better. But, it, but, but again, you, you, have your, you have your list of stuff, but starting to bring in fresh stuff that you don't know fresh. And it's all learning it together and then and working off each other. I think it's a good idea. So with that said, what scenes do we want to work on today since uh, Dave's not here? Do we have stuff to work with? Yes. I know Thomas said he had something from Blade I got something from Blade Runner. Okay. Uh, what it is, the scene is, um, it's Roy and Decker. And in the movie Blade Runner, uh, Roy is an android and he's only got a four-year lifespan, so he's dying. And then Decker is a Blade Runner that's going after him, played by Harrison Ford, and trying to capture him and kill him. So basically, this is the end of the movie, and the uh, replicant, Roy, is dying. He knows he's dying, and he's actually trying to do a good deed because he could have killed Decker, and he kind of saved his life. So he's trying to do one good thing before he dies to save face, I guess. And action. Quite an experience to live in fear, isn't it? That's what it's like to be a slave. I'm surprised you're letting me live. Why did you save my life? Why did you stop me from falling? I've seen things you people wouldn't believe. Attack ships off the coast of Orion. I've seen moonbeams glisten off boat escapes 500 light years away from Earth. All those moments will be lost in time. Like tears in the rain. Time.
You did not ask it to be this way. Rest in peace. And cut. So, going back to the class, Don, what's your, can you talk a little bit about what's going on here, the emotions, and you yeah. haven't seen the movie, so what are you getting from yeah. it? So um, that's kind of a good way to look at it. I, I mean, one of the things I was thinking about, like, was subtext and pauses, and then, you know, like, for, for you, I mean, I know you're cold reading it, but what kind of emotions do you get watching him die? Yeah. And, you know, I thought you did a great, like, like, you know, subtext, like in your eyes, like, what have you seen? Like, I, I mean, I, I get that you're feeling, but I mean, do you feel like uh, I was a droid, but I saw all this terrible shit and that was my whole four years? I saw amazing, terrible. amazing things that no other human's ever seen. Yeah. And those moments are going to be lost, but I know all those moments because I was there. I would, yeah, I would just wonder, like, if you, like, if that was a human motion, like how would you? You're you're dying, and it is all that. Well, stuff. he is part human. They are replicants yeah. have human emotions. They feel, they feel pain, they cry, but they they only have a four year lifespan, and they just yeah. want more life, and he wants to live longer. But he realizes yeah. he, he's gonna go. All his friends are already killed, and the thing is, before this whole thing happened, she was hanging off the ledge. This is a building right here. And he was, you were about to fall off, you were hanging on this pipe, and I reached down and I grabbed you and I pulled you up and I threw you in that chair. So I saved your life. I didn't have to do that. But it was like, let me do one thing good before I die. Yeah, Yeah, that seems like a good point, right? It's like, yeah. he's had a revelation, right? Because yeah. they're killing machines, right? Yeah. Is that true? Or? He is, but he didn't have to be. It was, the only reason he turned into a killing machine is because he wanted more time to live. And when he realized he only had a four-year lifespan, that's when he went him up. Yeah, I I would just I mean the I, movie's amazing. This, like right, my un uh, uneducated opinion, but it just seems like like you've had a revelation. Yes. you know you're dying, and you know that got to be sad, right? And then yeah. I don't know how you would feel like he, he just saved you. Like it's a totally different thing. Well, see, yeah. and, and, and watching him the die. character, he, the Blade Runner, Deckard, Deckard doesn't really like killing replicants. So in the movie, he kills some, and he almost like he feels sorry for them. So he feels kind of sorry for me. Yeah. Because yeah. I, he's, he's, it's like he's doing his job, but he doesn't really want to kill replicants. He doesn't have anything personally against them. It's his job. Yeah. But there's a scene in the movie where he shoots this one and he like closes his eyes and he almost like, what did I do? But I had to do it. Yeah. So. Well, we were talking, well, we were talking. I was listening, in, but in class, they were, do you ever, uh, you ever see that movie with Harrison Ford, Presumed Innocent? Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. And you remember he had a, an affair and he's kind of sitting there obsessing about it, and then his wife comes in and she goes, "What did she have that made you feel so much?" And I, I, I remember the scene a little bit, but Harrison Ford doesn't have dialogue. Yeah. He just, you know, and it, is it for your part? Is like, how do you feel? I guess like, you know, my uneducated opinion. No, <laughs> no. Um, thank you. It's helpful. And you've had some classes, so yeah. Yeah. Some great. You're educated. So you wonder why you're educated. So you, want to try it? Sure. so you want to try it again then? And then we'll... Yeah. And action. Quite an experience to live in fear, isn't it? That's what it's like to be a slave. I'm surprised you're letting me live. Why, Why did you save me? Why'd you stop me from falling off the cliff? I've seen things you wouldn't believe. Attack ships off the coast of Orion. I'm seeing moonbeams glisten off Border's Gate 500 million light years away from Earth. All those moments will be lost in time. Like tears in the rain. Time to die. 
didn't ask it to be this way. Rest in peace. Nice. Stand, stand you down. Thank you. Yeah. You want to switch it up? So yep. do, so do you want to try it? Do, do you have two, um, you have two shoes? Yeah. You do? Okay. So, so is it a male male or a female male or male? It doesn't really no, matter. Replica, the replicants can be females. And Blade Runners can be females. So let's, for Don. Don, you're going to play that yeah. shoes. Yeah. And, uh, Get it. <laughs> you want to play, who do you want to play? Do you want to play Ro uh, Decker or do you want to play? I'll do this one. For yeah. Because you don't have to fall down. I'm just falling down. I've got like, like a bad knee, ankle back. Huh? <laughs> okay, I should be careful. <laughs> I, I know you look like you're disabled veteran. Yes. Yeah. All right, cool. And so we're just going to do a, a dry read since uh, Don's not familiar so much. So we'll walk ahead. And this one I'm giving you in case you want to know this is actually a gun, your gun, which I could kill you with, even though I saved you from falling over. That's why I'm giving it to you. So let's go ahead and read out loud, Don. What? Oh, you want to do driving? Okay. Yeah, yeah, I got it. Yeah. I just wanted to read a little bit. Go ahead. You let me know when you're ready. Well, the thing is, you're, you're already surprised because I didn't let you go over the, the top. I lifted you up from that pipe and threw you in the chair. So okay. that surprised you. And yeah, you're surprised I'm letting you live. Okay. Why don't you like, like slide me back in there? Yeah, kind of like I grabbed okay. from this okay. and I just throw you, boom, okay. back in the chair. If you okay. want to animate it, you can. It in. Okay. I got you. I got your gun. I got okay. your gun. Right. But I'm going to give it to you. So almost like you could kill me if you want to too. Right now, but you don't. Okay. You want to give it to me right here? Sure. It's up to you. All right. Yeah. Let's do it. Right. Okay. And action. Quite an experience to live in fear, isn't it? I'm surprised you're letting me live. Oh, well, that's what it's like to be a slave. Yeah, we, we, that, I am proud of it because okay. you forgot a line. That's okay, that's okay. So it's quite an experience to live in fear as it, that's what it's like to be a slave. Yeah, okay. that's, All right. yeah, you want to try it again? Yeah. 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 And action. Quite a, it, <laughs> try it again. I right, fuck up. Would you put that please, thanks. And action. Quite an experience to live in fear, isn't it? That's what it's like to be a slave. Surprise you're letting me live. Why did you save my life? Why did you stop me from falling? I've seen things you people wouldn't believe. Attack ships off the coast of Orion. I'm seeing moonbeams glisten aboard a skate 500 million light years away from Earth. All those moments will be lost in time. Like tears in the rain. Time to die. You did not ask for this. Rest in peace. Cool. So, what do you say about yourself? <laughs> <laughs> Well, I mean, I, I think it's, you know, I think one of the other things they talked about was like, you know, study and analysis of the scene and understanding the whole concept and what it meant to be in that kind of moment. So, I mean, I'm, I guess I'm, you know, I don't know the lines. I'm trying to know the lines. Sure. I'm trying to yeah. act and, you know. Uh, That's when you need to get together and practice before yeah. you do it too. That right, helps yeah. too. Because I've, I've done the scene in my other acting classes, so. Yeah. I liked how you were out of breath. Like that seemed real. Yeah. 
Yeah. Well, it seems like you know you're you're about to die, and then oh my god, I'm saved. Yeah. yeah. Right. You know that's kind of the, you're hanging on a pipe, covered. and like you're about to fall, hanging from this pipe. We're on a building, like twenty stories up, and then as soon as you, your hands are released, I grab your hand and I pull you up in the movie, and then throw you. Actually, in the movie, he throws him down on the ground, and then he goes to the ground, and they start talking. And, and the thing is that this movie, Harrison Ford doesn't have, he's just listening. He has no words. I added the words. Oh, you did? Because I wanted to have something. He has no words. He's just watching him. But then it would just be me talking, so I added it. Yeah, one of the plays that they talked about today is there's a two-person play, and only one person talks. Yeah. And the other other is just acting. But for sake of class, I go, I got to add some words. Because yeah, yeah. That would be a challenge for sure. Yeah, because they had one scene today, the guy was just... He was just sitting there, and this woman was doing all the dialogue. He's just like, "Well, you know what? Do you want to like, do you want to switch it up? Because you yeah. you can sit in the chair. You don't have to fall down. Yeah, I'll sit, yeah. Let's switch it up. Because uh, I like to play Decker. Then Noel and I will go. Yeah. And you can show me a piece of wall. I'm in the arm bar. What's the arm bar? Put your arm out of the socket. <laughs> Boy, my arm still hurts. This arm still hurts. I gotta go get a massage tomorrow. Oh, what's the arm bar? Oh, I don't know. I don't need any moves shown to me. You're like, I'm good, baby. Uh, I'm, like, I'm, I'm Humpty Dumpty. I'm glued back together. Let me go through this because I got an overall. What's that? What's that? What's that? We know it's like the value of exercise is exercise today, and I feel so much better. Right. Let's go through a cold week because I don't okay. know. I don't know the hero. Quite an experience to live in fear, isn't it? That's what it's like to be a slave. I'm surprised you're letting me live. Why did you save my life? Why did you stop me from falling? I've seen things you people wouldn't believe. Attack ships. Is that off or of? Off, sorry. Okay. Attack ships off the coast of Orion. Is that right, Orion? Yeah, Orion. I saw moonbeams off Boulder's, well. Off Boulder's Gate. Boulder's Gate, is that a thing? Yeah. Okay. What's in the moon? 5,000 light years away <laughs> from Earth. All those moments will be lost in time, like tears in the rain. Time to die. And that's when you die, and you, you can die how you want, and then I cover your eyes, and then you didn't ask to be this way, rest in peace. Maybe an android this goes. Yeah. Well, in the movie, he died. Yeah, like, he died out. holding a dove, and then the dove flew out of his hand. He was like this, and then his head went down. That was it. <laughs> because he want he loved I know because he like he had this dove and he was Rucker Howard was holding it I guess he loved doves and then, as soon as he died oh as a pigeon he died the pigeon flew off it's like traumatic I don't know. He was a so I I think I mean like tell me like I think like Roy right, is at the end of life right end of yes, life and he's, he's having these revelations right right and he's it's just reflective yeah okay. okay. Now let's uh, do and uh, action. Oh shit, I'm sorry. <sighs> Quite an experience to live in fear, isn't it? <sighs> That's what it's like to be a slave. I'm surprised you're letting me live. Why did you stop me from falling? Why did you save my life? I've seen things you people wouldn't believe. Attack ships off the coast of Orion. I saw moonbeams off Boulder Gates, 5,000 light years away from Earth. All those moments will be lost in time, like tears in the rain. Time to die. You didn't miss.
deserve this. Rest in peace. Very good, guys. That was so really good. Off. Marco. Embarrassing boy. Quite an experience to live in fear, isn't it? It's what it's like to be a slave. I'm surprised you're letting me live. Why'd you save my life? Why'd you stop me from falling? I've seen things you people wouldn't believe. Attack ships at the coast of Orion. I saw moonbeams off Boulder's Gate 500,000 light years away from Earth. All those moments will be lost in time. Tears in the rain. Time to die. You did not ask to be this way. Rest in peace. Go. I want to do it to where you throw me into my chair. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> okay, I'm let's sorry, again. Again. I'm sorry, again. I was expecting that. <laughs> sorry, was that not right? <laughs> I, you put your arm oh, out, so I just took yeah, that yeah, as. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> arm out. I know I looked it on paper, but I'm really not going <laughs> This is a great blooper. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm all show, no go. All right, cool. All right, so I'm hanging on a cliff. <sighs> <laughs> One more time, <laughs> seriously. One more time, right. <laughs> so, You are about to die, and you, you're lucky. You, 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 you see my life, you're not trying to kill me. <laughs> yeah. You can move me gently. <laughs> okay. Just pretend to move me. Okay. Yeah, move me like, uh, yeah, you can't see me, not like bust me up against the wall. Like, you're going to move me. Quite an experience to live in fear, isn't it? That's what it's like to be a slave. I'm surprised you let me live. Why'd you save my life? Why'd you stop me from falling? I've seen things you people wouldn't believe. Attack ships of the coast of Ryan. I saw moonbeams off the Boulders Gate 500,000 light years away from Earth. All those moments will be lost in time, like tears in the rain. Time to die. You did not die. You did not ask to die this way. Rest in peace. <laughs> <laughs> Give me every time. Like, I literally can't look at you. The death was very dramatic. Right? <laughs> it was so keep rolling, you keep rolling. Like, so, uh, second to second, I'm nervous. Hand over to Don. Let's get some. Let's get some. Uh, so, uh, Don, give us your honest. Oh, uh, uh, no. I mean, for Noel, I mean, Noel is great. I think mm -hmm. every time you've been here, you're just great. But I, I wonder, like, in the scene, I mean, you're so young, right? Mm -hmm. that, I mean, like, for me, uh, I don't know if you feel like you feel like morality, you know, you're not immortal anymore, but like this is this is the last. And then if you reflect back on those moments, how would that make you feel? Like yeah. maybe like think about like when I was in high school and if there was great times in high school, but those <laughs> those yeah. times would never be. I mean, I just that's what I would, and it, it, well, it's interesting. Say. You're about to die. Remember? Well, what's yeah. well, what's interesting too is yeah, I was thinking maybe you uh, paused a little bit more. So I'm thinking like even like current affairs with what's going on in uh, in Russia and Ukraine. You know, yeah. so you so when you say I've seen things yeah. like really like you've seen some fucked up shit yeah. and you've seen some good stuff too. So maybe like draw it out a little bit more. Like I've seen things like humanity and just the shit that goes on. You know, yeah. Will Smith smacking Chris Rock. Yeah. So anyway, so, you yeah. know what I'm saying? Uh -huh. So maybe do maybe, that. Uh, and I would say, too, maybe just, like, with pause and subtext, like, 
like when you say I've seen things like we want to like see that you've seen things maybe. Yeah, so yeah. almost like glossed over a little bit. Okay. I'll try that. <laughs> yeah. Where's Maya? Yeah. <laughs> I should have brought my toy gun. Yeah, okay. All right, go ahead. And then uh, let me prepare for the. Uh, let's go full. Prepare for the arm. So, so a, little, a little side note while we're while we're rolling here. So it was funny. So we we're doing a forty-eight hour film festival, and I was actually ten years younger back then. And there was a scene where I had the fake blood in my mouth, and the person that I was uh, uh, acting with was a UNM soccer soccer player, right? So we're supposed to just rehearse, right? So the scene was, she was going to grab me by the neck and put me up against the wall, right? So it's a rehearsal. She grabbed me, knocked the snot out of me. It was so embarrassing. She threw me against the wall so hard that I literally, like, it was pretty embarrassing. I'm like, what the fuck? <laughs> you, lost I was, I was, you lost her snot. I, I wasn't even expecting it because when she did it, it's like, what wow. the fuck? Oh, and she's a strong lady, man. She just threw me against the wall. So I guess I'm having... Hey, are we going to do that same thing right now? Yeah, don't lie. Because she could. I know she <laughs> no, could. No, I'll, I'll hold back. I appreciate that. I'll hold back. We'll give you time. I appreciate that. Yeah, I appreciate that. So let's, uh, all right, so I'm hey, So call action when you're ready, Tom. Action. Let's do one more thing. Okay. Don't wait any action. Call I'm action. Delayed. Action. Quite an experience to live in fear, isn't it? That's what it's like to be a slave. That's why you're letting me live. Why'd you save my life? Why'd you stop me from falling? I've seen things you people wouldn't believe. Attack ships of the coast of Orion. I saw moonbeams off boulders skate 500,000 light years away from Earth. All those moments will be lost in time like teardrops. In the rain. It's time to die. You did not, you did not ask to, be, to go by this way. Rest in peace. That was really good. Well, there was, yeah, like where I've seen things, and, and what is the line where uh, it's something about? Lost. All those. All those things will be lost. All those moments will be lost in time, like tears in the rain. Yeah, I, I like when you see things. It's a subtext thing to me, you know. Or like, what have you seen? Like, can we see it in your face? What you've seen, without hearing the words, and then you know when you realize all those things will be lost. I mean, because we we were talking right. They're trying to like live longer, but this is it, right? So, I mean, that's the only thing. Mm -hmm. So let's close up with this because we're going to make it early night. So, um, but next... Sorry. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> like, that was really good. So next week we have Monique Candelaria. He's going to be teaching a class, so I think you should really tune in for that. I'm really excited about that. I'll, I'll put a link to the, her IMBD on our YouTube page. I'm really excited about that. And then Monday, we're shooting you light painting with Alan Osler. So a lot of cool things coming up in our upcoming blog. So thanks again for watching.